everyone. On this series, we are going to build this application. This is the first video, but more will come. And you can see here what we are going to build. On top, the number of Pomodons we have done, the set number. And uh, we can start, we can stop. And uh, the color change, we have the icons with the number of Pomodors and we can reset our Pomodors. So let's build it. I'm going to start from scratch. You can see here the application that comes with Flutter. I'm going to remove now these comments. We can remove this and this. Okay. because we are going to create another one called O. We can create here in the new file. For that, create a new folder called screens. And inside this folder, create a new file called homescreen.dart. Here, Create a stateful widget and call it home. Import the material.dart. Make sure you save it and here you can import it. And instead of a container, I'm going to put here a skyful. Remove this. And you can see here, we have an empty application. Now, change the title from a Flutter Demo to Pomodoro. And um, put uh, as false to show the, the banner. Change the color from blue to yellow. Save it and let's check. Okay, looks better. Okay, I'm going to remove the this banner because we don't use on this application. And set the background color as colors dot gray. 900. Save it and change and put here um, safe area with a shell a colon. Show the first the text. This text is where we are going to display the Pomodoro number. So Pomodoro number. For now, I will. Add code it, but there uh, I will change to be dynamic and change also the style. This one, textile, and here I'm going to change the font size to 32 and the color to white. Save it. We can copy this and place it to display the set number. It's set as four Pomodoros. The logic is you do four Pomodoros with a short break between, and after four Pomodoros, you conclude the set and it has a longer break. So here to display the set and here the time and we can see okay uh, it's not center we can center it okay now it's center. And we, because we want the 
first text on top and the rest to take the rest of space so I'm going to use a expanded widget here and inside the expander I'm going to place a column a main axis alignment center I can show you now how it, it looks. You can see it's on top, this, and uh, the rest is uh, center. Now I'm going to give some space on top, so with a sized box, sized box. And I'm going to put here 10. Copy and uh, place some space here as well. Okay, you can see it looks better now. Now I'm going to change the the clock to put it uh, round. To do that I'm going to import a package. It's uh, here below Copertino icons. Make sure it's on the with the same alignment. We you don't have uh, more or less spaces. And, uh, the package I'm going to place is this one, percentage indicator. Save it. It's updating the package. Okay, now we, we can use this package to display the clock. So, remove this and place a circular percentage indicator. And we need to import this. So go here on top and place the import. For now, I will add code the the colors and the, the time. But after I finish the layout, I will change to be dynamic. So radius two hundred and twenty. Line width 15, percentage 30, and uh, in the center I want to place a text with the time. I'm going to leave it for now like this. And the style. Style. So change the font size and the, the color. Save it. Progress color red for now. Like I said, I will change this. And here the percentage should be 0 0.3. Okay, let's check. Looks good. Now this should be run. To do that, put circular stroke cap. That's circular stroke cap dot run ok save it and let's check now you can see it's run now in my opinion it looks better this way now below this uh, time indicator we can put a sized box to give some space Ten as well. And then below we have the progress icons. This progress icons it's a widget we are going to create. So go here and uh, create a new folder called widget. 
and inside this uh, folder create a new file progress icons dot dart create a stateless widget call it progress icons and import material dot dart these icons we receive the number of icons so uh, in this case is four because e each set uh, has four icons but it, it can be more in the future if uh, we want and the, the number of icons that uh, are completed so for example if you did uh, five pomodoros you are in the second set and uh, you have completed one pomodoro in this set because each set is four pomodoros so i'm going to show it so it receives the total and uh, the total and the number of pomodoros you have done so the the constructor it receives both Now I'm going to create the icon for when it's done and the icon for when it's not done yet. So the icon size is the same for both cases, so I'm going to place it in a, in a variable. And now here I'm going to create the, the first icon, final done icon equals icon and the icon I used for this case is near the color is colors.orange and the size the icon size We can copy this and then change what uh, we need. So we can copy and call it not done icon. Okay, now the logic is to create a list of icons. Icon like this icons equals an empty list for now so now create a for loop starting at zero and go until the total And if i is less than the number of uh, items done, we have the done icon. If it is more, we have the not done. For example, if you did two pomodoros, the number of uh, done is two. So the first two is going to be a done icon then the third and the fourth is going to be a not done icon we can return here a row and the children is the icons the main alignment is center so main alignment dot center and this row we can add some padding like this 
save it and go here and the project seconds for now I'm going to put just to test it total of four and and uh, I think it's better if we add require here require it to make sure we pass this so total four and uh, then three save it and it's all the same because I forgot to change here the not done icon I copied and forgot to change this is the outline and the, the color is orange and a little bit lighter so orange and here one under save it and we can check now okay. three done one uh, not done so working fine Let's continue in the next video, there I will finish the layout, I will create the buttons and I will start the Pomodoro logic. So don't forget to subscribe if you don't want to miss it and uh, press the like button, see you there.